Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Urban Dunia, I'm Tim Blight and welcome back to this series of Spectacle where I'm taking you to some of the most amazing religious rituals and experiences that I have ever witnessed. A few weeks ago I brought you the spectacle of Muharram, the commemoration of the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. After the events at Karbala in the year 680, Hussein's sister Zainab and the rest of his surviving camp were taken prisoner and marched through the streets of Damascus. They were released 20 days later and exactly 40 days after the massacre they returned to Karbala to pay their respects. The tradition of returning to the place of the tragedy on the 40th day is known as Arbain and it is a tradition that lasts to this day. Now up to 20 million pilgrims descend on Karbala on Arbain every year, many of whom have arrived by foot from cities both near and far. It's a journey of passion, sorrow, love and devotion. Of course, Karbala is in Iraq, a country whose name is synonymous with war and violence. But as I was to discover, there's much more to this country than the headlines. As such, my trip to Iraq was doubly special. Not just to visit a place that I never thought I could, but to do it as part of a religious pilgrimage, no less. Over the next two weeks, I will be bringing you daily video diaries from the pilgrimage. It's not an overstatement to say that what's coming up are some of the most amazing and captivating scenes that I have ever witnessed. And you'll be with me all the way. My journey started in Lahore, Pakistan. I'm at Lahore International Airport and I am about to board a flight to Doha in Qatar and then onwards to Najaf in Iraq. This is day one of my rolling vlog, uh, video diary you could say, of my journey to Karbala in Iraq. <laughs> We've just arrived at Najaf Airport and it is absolutely pouring outside. Take a look at this. I'll be updating you once I get into the terminal. giant room where lots and lots of people are milling around and um, we're just waiting for our passports to be processed and the visas to be stamped in the passports and that's it. On another note there is a group of people who seem to be engaged in a fruitless attempt to wipe rainwater out of the building and um, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and, it's, and go out on a limb here and assume that it probably doesn't rain this much that often in the desert, so it's probably a one-off occurrence. We seem to have arrived on the right day. This is also the point at which I and a lot of the members of the group that I'm travelling with are about to remove our shoes and then walk barefoot on the hallowed turf as it were.
absolutely exhausted and I think a whole bunch of us are as well so we're gonna hit the sack and I will be back with more of the video diary from Arbain tomorrow.